morning everybody it is Monday December 4th and I got up early well I didn't get up early I got up I mean I guess seven o'clock is still early for some people but I got up at seven and I actually went to the gym I've been as usual it's been my struggle lately but I feel really good I'm so glad I went and got a good workout and I was gonna record it but it just didn't work out but that's okay so um yeah I got a good workout in and now I'm on my way to an audition I didn't put a lot of makeup on for this audition because they the client kept emphasizing that they didn't want the person to look like a model so I was like okay I'm just gonna not put on like a lot of makeup so I just put my eyebrows on and a little powder and whatever and mascara that's it so we'll see if I get this one I did not get the other one the one for the Alexa product I did not get that one which is okay but I have an audition today that I'm on my way to and then I have one tomorrow so we'll see you know it's just it's good experience just going to the auditions if nothing else so anyway I did not vlog the rest of yesterday because I, I literally went to bed when I got home <laughs> I was so tired and we ate so much crap those uh, we ended up going to BJ's brew house I told you guys after we went to eat for dinner we went to Thai kitchen I didn't record any of it because I just wanted to enjoy my time with them but we went to Thai kitchen and then we went to BJ's brew house I told you guys that already and we had the pizookis which I have never had before and I've been wanting to try them for a while and man, so good. I got the monkey bread pizookie, which I think was probably my favorite. Surprisingly, that was my favorite. I thought I was gonna like the triple chocolate pizookie the best, but it was it was too much. Maybe with vanilla ice cream it would have been better, but it had chocolate ice cream and then a chocolate cookie with chocolate, it was just a lot. So I didn't even finish that one, but I had the Oreo cookie one, which was really good. And then I had the um, monkey bread one which was my favorite so it was delicious and we had the best time man like we hung out so long I think we got there at what 12 I think it was a little after 12 12 30 and didn't leave each other until 5 so it was fun we had a great time but yeah so then I came home and I jumped in the shower unwound and went straight to bed <laughs> so and I slept for a long time but yeah it was a great weekend this weekend so this week is gonna be good and like I mean every day is gonna be good praise the Lord uh, I want to address no I'm not gonna address that I was gonna talk about the whole Santa thing but you know what whatever anytime that anybody has an opinion that contradicts the opinion of the masses it's always a problem and I'm fully aware that I don't have kids and when I do have kids, my, my opinions can totally change. I'm totally aware that when someone has an opinion about something and is not in that position, your opinion might change. But I do know that I grew up having fun with Santa Claus, but I didn't, my parents told us that he wasn't real. So we were able to still have the magical Christmas without having Santa be real. Like, I don't judge anybody. If you want to tell your, San your kids Santa is real, by all means go ahead but like I just personally I don't know I just have an issue I, I don't know it doesn't matter what I think if you want to do it do you I don't care what you do with your kids <laughs> that doesn't mean that you're a liar it doesn't mean that you know but I just I just personally don't like it and I think the biggest issue with it is when parents use it to, to manipulate their kids to be good like when they should be being good anyway you know what I mean like but I don't have kids so and I know that so whatever but I actually didn't even realize that because I haven't read the comment section yet but I saw my friend Ryan posted you guys know Ryan she posted a comment uh, saying that people really have a big issue with this video and I was like I, I saw that comment pop up on my notifications. I was like, really? And I'm just, I'm not surprised because there's always, like anytime anyone, like I said, has a, an opinion that goes against the masses, there's always gonna be conflict and that's okay. Like, I don't really care. I have my opinion, you have your opinion. That's totally okay. And it's okay. And that's just pretty much what it is. So 
yeah, but that's okay. I love all you guys. You guys have been so awesome. It's just okay to have an opposite opinion than other people. It's okay, guys. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. But anyway, I love you all anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and kind of center myself and pray a little bit before my audition and I will see you beautiful people in a little bit. All right, audition went amazing. It was really good. He gave me a really nice compliment when I was done. And yeah, so <clears throat> we'll see if I get it. But I actually just got out of Walmart and I wanted to get some more gluten-free taco shells or taco or tortillas because the tacos I made this weekend, bomb. I make really good tacos, I think. But these ones, I don't know what it was about these that were so good. So, I am gonna go home and eat that, but I wanted more gluten-free tortilla shells. The only reason why I get the gluten-free ones at this point, because they're ridiculously expensive, but is the texture. I love the texture of the gluten-free ones. They're just like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just different, but I really love it. So I've been really liking those. So funny thing, when I was in Walmart, the lights went out, like the electricity went out in Walmart, just the whole store, just out. They weren't out for like a crazy long time, but I felt like it was kind of a long time. I was really surprised. But um, then it popped back on and whatever. But I thought that was interesting. I've never been, oh, I've never been in a big store like that and had the electricity just shut off for no reason so that was a little adventure and now I'm on my way home I'm gonna stop at the bank real quick and make a deposit and then I'm gonna edit the vlog that I want to post today I mean it's already late it's like 1 o'clock already time just flies by actually is it 1 o'clock or is it 12 o'clock I think it might be 12 o'clock my clock is wrong so I'm gonna go home and do that which shouldn't take me a terribly long time and yeah, we'll see what else happens for the rest of the day. But it's gonna be a good one that I do know. You guys, I am pathetic. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna deny it. I have a problem. I think I waited, ah, I'm not even gonna make excuses for myself. I just need to get my life together, but I caved. I need to stop playing in the gray, as Ron would say, and stop looking up food and stop thinking about junk food and just make better decisions. But, uh, look what I did. Look what I got. What the heck? Let me show you. What the heck? Look at it. Uh. I caved. I ordered a monkey bread pizuki from BJ's. I knew I should have never tried it ever in the world ever because I knew that I was going to crave it like this. Like, oh my God, it smells freaking amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven for a few minutes because it's a little bit cool because I ordered it off a of DoorDash, which <sighs> you guys... When am I gonna get my life together? Like, I know I'm not fat, I know. But I don't wanna continue down this road, but I keep making bad decisions. I have to get to a point to where enough is enough. And I'm getting there, but like, I actually don't <laughs> physically look that bad. I'm not happy with where I am, but I'm not, like I don't feel like I look bad. So that's why I've just been like, okay, well it's not gonna hurt. But I don't feel good about myself. Like, I need to just make better choices. Uh, it's just like, it, I'm, a, I'm all about indulging and enjoying life and enjoying food. But when it's a consistent, when, it, when I'm consistently making bad choices, that's when it's a problem. And I am consistently, lately, making bad choices. So I gotta get my life together, y'all. I have got to get my life together. I have a real problem. Help me get it together, guys. Help me. Let's do this together. Who wants to do this together? Who wants to team up with me and we can do like a weight loss group or something? Who wants to do it? Because 
This is the last straw. It has to be. If any of you want to in some way do like a, like a accountability workout group with me, let me know because I think something has to give here. <laughs> something has to give. So I'll try to figure out a way for all of us somehow to do some type of weight loss challenge or accountability group or something. So let me know if you're interested. Now, I'm going to enjoy my little pizookie here. And then we, hopefully some of you guys and myself, are going to get our lives together, okay? <laughs> enough is enough. So I'm chilling and I'm editing. Well, I'm not editing yet, but I was sitting down to get ready to edit another vlog. And I'm making some tea. And I was talking to Andrea. Well, sort of. Andrea and I use an app called Glide. And again, this video is not sponsored. Andrea and I glide a lot, which is basically like video texting. So she sent me a text and pretty much let me have it. What do you mean you haven't been to the movies since the shack? That's a straight up a lie. You went to the movies with us to watch it and it was your idea. You're the one that wanted to see it. So yeah. You straight up lied and pretty pretty messed up that you forgot that we went to the movies, so pretty messed up. Ask me if I wanna see your videos again. No. Not when we don't get any kind of love. Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> So I guess I've to I forgot that we went to go see the movie it I totally forgot about that and Andrea ripped me a new one She calls me out for everything True friends call you out true friends tell you like it is true friends tell you the truth <laughs> So my bad the last time I saw a movie was not with Gail seeing the shack it was when I went to North Carolina and Andrea Hebram and I went to see it. So, my bad. I'm sorry, Andrea. I'm sorry. Dang, you're so mean. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I just completely forgot. So, just a little correction. Just a little correction. I was wrong. I was wrong and it was just a slip of my mind. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna finish up here my tea is almost ready. I am making some rice in my rice cooker that I absolutely love using because it's so quick and easy. And I like to put extra water in it so it's more like sticky rice. So good. And I am cutting up the rest of this rotisserie chicken to bring for lunch tomorrow and getting my meals ready because I can't keep eating like this. Ah! Like, I'm, I didn't eat anything else today. I had a uh, taco earlier and then the pizuki and that's it but i i can't keep doing this you guys i can't keep doing this but anyway so i'm meal prepping a little bit and preparing myself to eat better tomorrow so let's do this but i'm probably gonna go ahead and end this video because my camera's about to die so thank you so much for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel comment share subscribe and help me to continue growing my family i love you guys